Hello, my name is Amy Smith. I am a songwriter and artist with Asperger's syndrome, founder of The Circle's Edge, and author of A Different Perspective. The Circle's Edge is a 501c3 nonprofit whose mission is to fight loneliness, isolation, rejection, and bullying through outreach programs and social activities. This resolves a vastly overlooked but painfully urgent need in society, acceptance and the need to belong. And you can help make a difference in a lonely, isolated, autistic person's life and help fight bullying with every purchase of our books, donation to our site, and even pre-ordering this book, A Different Perspective. And you can also help vastly by sharing and reposting this video to your Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and social media accounts. This will vastly help. A Different Perspective is a multifaceted collection of illusions, poetry, short stories, and art by various diverse adult artists with Asperger's Syndrome. So without further ado, let's enjoy an excerpt from A Different Perspective. Welcome. I love illusions, optical illusion, audible illusions, even tactile illusions are all so amazing and awesome to me. I was first introduced to optical illusion when I was probably six or so years old. I remember my mom showing me these various brain teasers puzzles as a little kid, and one of them had a bunch of lines on that made up a circle. Initially, it just looked like an abstract design, but if you looked at it from the right angle, i.e. the correct perspective, it created a sentence. That was my first introduction to optical illusions and the ceiling of my obsession to all types and forms of illusions of each and every type. As with illusions, whether magic or just a simple sunset in nature, the illusion is totally based on the viewer's perspective. If they look at the illusion in a normal way, it just looks like confusion or some form of abstract art. It is only when you listen, look, or experience that illusion from the per correct perspective and spot that your eyes, ears, and brain will be astonished and amazed by what you just experienced. Additionally, illusions are similar to perfumes or candy. Descriptions of how a fragrance smells, something tastes, a song sounds, or how an illusion is experienced is limited at best and basically useless. The only way to properly comprehend an illusion, how a person sounds, how much, a, how a, such a fragrance smells, or a food tastes, or even how a roller coaster feels, is for you to personally experience it firsthand for yourself. Similarly, there are many assumptions, expectations, and beliefs people unfairly place on others. Whether these beliefs are true or just biased expectations and stereotypes. It is unwanted, unrequested, and many times illogical expectations placed on someone, usually without their knowledge. Unless, you're, unless you experience life from their personal perspective, or at least ask the person you place unrealistic and biased expectations on what they personally think, or how they actually feel, you are setting yourself and them up for disappointment and failure. There are many books written by neurotypicals about autism and their experience and how they feel. Although this is just as important and good, it can never compare or replace directly hearing from an artistic person how they may think or feel. This coffee table art book is different because it is by adults with Asperger's, which is many times overlooked. Most autistic books are for parents or teachers and people focus on children, but somehow forget or assume that once a child hits 18, that they are magically cured to normal or something along those lines. There are limited resources for adult Aspies and limited opportunities to showcase their talent and opportunities and abilities, I'm sorry. There are limited resources for adult Aspies and limited opportunities to showcase their talents and abilities. 
Thus, I decided to create this collection, a collaborative art book showcasing my works in art, as well as the art and works of various other adult ASPE poets and artists. Another way this book is different is because I wish to highlight a topic that is vastly ignored and overlooked for ASPE youth and adults and many other youth and adults. And that is social interactions from their very own perspective. It is nice to have some researcher, teacher, or parent offer their observation advice to others. But every now and then, it would be nice to hear directly from the subject's mouth their difficulties and how they personally overcame them. Hearing the various ways someone overcame a difficulty can be useful for others in that predicament. Thus, my collaborative art book. Who am I? My name is Amy Smith. And I am an aspiring writer, artist, entrepreneur, and musician who established this nonprofit for people who feel alone, bullied, overlooked, or left out. It is called The Circle's Edge Incorporated. I personally know I'm quite silly, shy, childlike, smart, sweet, innocent, and clever all in this, at the same time, which to me are not by, bad traits. Not sure how others would view such traits, though. Anyway, I am also an adult with Asperger's Syndrome. I single-handedly created this nonprofit for others like myself who are single, alone, bullied, have social anxiety, and can't seem to successfully fit into mainstream society or the in crowd or, as they say, the inner circle. Hence the name, The Circle's Edge, for those who can't quite fit into the inner circle. We offer diverse, fun social events, useful self-help activities, a welcoming atmosphere, and various awareness projects to educate the public in a fun, memorable way. In fact, one of the ways I help bring awareness about these exact issues is through my memoir, Conversations Out of Chaos. That was a five-year work and pro process of me journaling. And ex I'm sorry, that was a five-year process of me journaling my experiences in life and suffering from these exact same issues. And many times finding no real outlet for support. Well, anyway, I hope, in fact, I'm sure that you enjoyed this informative excerpt of A Different Perspective, which you can pre-order now from our website, circlesedge.org. And with every purchase, a portion of the proceeds goes towards our services, outreach programs, and social activities such as our weekly support group on Thursdays in Albany, New York, or our virtual seminars and meetings held worldwide. So log on to circlesedge.org today. That's C-I-R-C-L-E-S, like many circles, edge, E-D-G-E, -E, like an edge of a table or a cliff, circlesedge.org today and pre-order this interesting collection of art and poetry, which makes a very great coffee table art book. Help make a difference in the world. My name is Amy Smith, and I thank you in advance for sharing and reposting this video on your Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Pinterest, and social media accounts, and for your support. Bye.